Hey guys, how you're doing? Today we're gonna be going for our, our part 3 of Nash Authentication. So today we're gonna integrate database here with Prisma ORM and everything else. So quick rewind, created the JWT of Guard, JWT strategy. Uh, we created our login and that returns the access token and we protected the app controller there, the, the protected route that we should be uh, guarding okay so in today's video we're gonna remove this guy here and we're gonna be using some real database okay uh, so we're gonna be using Prisma Prisma is an object relational mapper uh, and it's uh, an alternative to writing plain SQL so let's, let me show here you guys the why we're, we don't write uh, SQL because of this, uh, this is a model from Prisma. This is all we gotta do. Then the Prisma will manage to create our migrations. Okay. So uh, now, what we're gonna be doing? Uh, we're gonna be creating our Docker. Okay. So we can manage to uh, to post a to create a a, a Postgres uh, database. Okay. So uh let's do this uh okay uh we're gonna be creating our docker compose here all this information i'm gonna be putting in the in the github okay so that's it uh docker compose slash f docker compose up, up and now we're gonna be adding our prisma here as a development dependency I'm gonna run the yarn prisma and yarn, yarn prisma in each command here. So we'll initialize prisma in our in our application. That's our dot envy and everything else. So in the dot env file, we pass the database URL string. And uh, now we're gonna be adding uh, this this secret to the process dot envy. So it's a more secure way. Okay, uh, then just put in there. So that is it. Uh, we have to add it in the JWT strategy and the off module. Okay, so that's it. Uh, now what we're gonna do? We're gonna be adding the dot env also to the git ignore. So later on we can commit all these files. So now our model user in the schema dot prisma. That's a a file that Prisma created when we ran that init. Uh, comment so that's our user has an ID a name email and password same information as the interface we're gonna run the migrate dev here uh, name or migration I'm gonna be naming it users okay so uh, it generated an SQL file uh, so now what we're gonna be doing we're gonna be checking here the the Prisma client that is downloaded but it has an error error i'm going to be showing you guys later generate the module the prisma module and the prisma service uh gonna be deleting the the prisma prisma service spec okay we're gonna we're not gonna be doing tests for this one we're gonna export the prisma service in the prisma module and we're gonna be copying and pasting the prisma uh, prisma service here from nest documentation okay uh, so the Prisma that we had there was not the right one. So we're going to be having to add it again and import. So yarn add, uh, at Prisma client. Okay. So I'm going to be importing, uh, Prisma module in the users module so we can make our request to the database. So we're going to be creating the, the, the create, we're going to be implementing the create method to the user. Uh, our data there will be any uh, for now and inject the prisma service here okay there we go uh, now we're gonna pass uh, this dot prisma dot user dot create and pass the data that we received there in the method okay uh, then return the user i'm gonna have to be taking off the password there and here we go so uh okay now what we'll be doing uh we're gonna be implementing the find by email there so we're gonna be doing a request to the database so find first 
I'm gonna find the first user that has this email there and I'm gonna pass this to a variable so now we can check if the user is not present in the database we throw a not found uh, a not found exception if the that error there is going on because of the ID type and our interface is a string but I, I implemented there but it's useless okay uh, just delete and delete the array of users uh, now we're gonna be creating a class called create user DTO okay so that in there we're gonna be receiving the name email and password those are the informations to create our user and we're gonna be creating a user DTO those uh, a, another class that's gonna be the return type of our application okay so we're gonna res we're gonna return ID name email and password it's not the right thing to do but in another videos we're gonna be implementing it in a better way so we can delete our, our interface user and our promise will return user DTO and gonna in the create there we can pass the create user DTO generated the controllers there the user controller so we're gonna be injecting the user service and implement the method to create okay so in there we're gonna pass create with the type create user DTO uh, another thing we have to annotate it with post okay so Prisma so Nash will understand and we get a receive data in our body okay so now start the application and we'll test uh, there we go postman create another request here and a post method uh, it's gonna return an error because they didn't pass anything in the body <laughs> so now overall and JSON there we go name email and password that error there you're not gonna be receiving that's because I, I created the JSON in a wrong way so now in our user services we're gonna implement a find all method so it's basically the same thing uh, this dot prisma client dot prisma services dot user dot find many okay so we're gonna create a get method here in our controller and we're gonna be getting the user that we created in the database so as you can see the id is a uig and the password it's not encrypted yet okay uh, i'm gonna be trying to log in with this user that we created it's all good all going on the right way okay there we go uh, so now what we're going to be doing we're gonna be uh, encrypting this password there so it will be saved in the in the database in an encrypted way so we're gonna be creating the password service here in the alf uh, folder uh, create a folder inside the alf folder called services so it will be more organized uh, there we go a password service will be a class the same thing as the other classes so password service is injectable we're gonna be adding bcrypt and its dependencies Sis. so there we go uh, our password service here has a hash and compare it's basically some implementations of uh, some functions that already have in the bcrypt so you can pause there and copy or you can check out our our git repository i'm gonna be linking it in the description so now in our alpha module we're gonna be returning our password service there we go uh we're gonna be having some problems here with dependencies but okay so in our validate users there in the alpha service we're gonna be creating a is password uh, f uh, variable that compares the password it receives the the compare password from the password service and instead of passing this condition we're gonna be passing the is password condition okay so now we're gonna be injecting the password service in the users module so first of all we're gonna be using the forward half so we don't have circular dependencies because the users module is already being imported in the alpha module so there we go and now in our constructor of user services we pass the at inject and forward half uh, 
there we go now in our create method we're going to be deleting everything here and creating another method we don't have to delete actually i just deleted there but uh so const encrypted password will be calling hash password from password services and then we're going to be passing data and the encrypted password as the password from the user okay so removing there from the create so it won't return there we go so now uh we can start it's gonna fail okay because of the circular dependencies we have to pass the forward half in the alpha module import there uh, there we go forward half problems so circular dependency is something that annoys some people <laughs> everyone actually so there we go in the line 12 there we're gonna be passing forward half to the users module so there we go now our circular dependency problem is gone so save and zero errors there we go so now let's create another user here another name testing youtube testing at youtube test three two one there we go created the user uh, now we're gonna be logging in with this user that we created there we go so test 331 you pass the same password that we, you created but now you can log in but now when we pass the when when we call the get users as you can see there the password is uh, encrypted so that's pretty awesome so that's it guys uh, that was the video i hope you enjoyed and i hope that we can manage to build an application here with this so we're going to be having lots of parts uh it's kind of being a series so if you if you check out the playlist we have another uh two other videos in this so from the beginning until now we created a jwt of a uh, local off guard sorry local off guard in the first video and then jwt uh, off guard in the, the second video and in this video we're just encrypting and uh, creating a database okay so all this this implementations that we did i'm gonna be putting in the github so i hope you enjoyed and let's learn how together thanks for watching